Welcome to Chrono Finder's YouTube channel. If you're interested in this watch or any others on our channel, please get in touch on the details in the description below. This is the Ceramic 116500LN reference, first released in 2016 to replace the previous steel bezel 116520 model. Ever since this watch came to market, it has been in huge demand with both the black and white dials fetching premiums. The Rolex Cosmograph Daytona has a sleek 40mm case, a case thickness of approximately 12mm, a lug width of 20mm and a lug tip to lug tip measurement of around 47mm. Despite being 40mm, the Daytona wears quite slim to the wrist and doesn't feel as bulky as other 40mm sports watches, so it's a fantastic option if you're looking for a daily piece. Aside from the bezel, the entire watch is crafted from oyster steel. Rolex is named for its corrosion resistant 904L stainless steel. This material is incredibly robust and is more often used in marine and aerospace. The case is completely polished, giving it a sporty look. Something that's often overlooked on the Daytona is its asymmetric lugs. On stainless steel and bimetal references, the right side of the lugs are slightly slimmer. This is done to give it a more balanced look due to the visual weight of the crown and pushers. The oyster bracelet is made up of three part oyster links. The outer two rows have a satin brushed finish and the center link is highly polished. This contrast really adds to the aesthetic of the watch and draws attention to the dial. The clasp follows the same style as the bracelet and is held shut by a fold over buckle with the Rolex coronet on it. To undo the clasp on the Daytona, the clasp is lifted up and on top of the spring loaded latch is pulled gently down to release the clasp from its beacon hook system. The inside of the clasp houses a 5mm easy link adjustment folding out to make the watch 5mm larger when needed. Micro adjustment is achieved by utilizing the three notches drilled within the clasp, however you will need a specific tool to do this. Looking at the side of the watch we can see three dots on the crown. This tells us when paired with the screwed down case back this Daytona has a trip lock waterproofing system making it resistant to 100 meters or 330 feet. The ceramic bezel was a welcome addition to the steel Daytona. The bezel is usually part of the watch that's accidentally knocked and the previous bezel on the 116520 model was prone to dents. Rolex refer to their ceramic as Cerachrom and they claim that it's not only highly resistant to scratching but will also never lose color even after decades of sun exposure. There is a tachymetric scale engraved into the black ceramic bezel which has been PVD coated with platinum dust to increase legibility and also give the numerals a stunning shine in the light. The gloss black dial ties in perfectly with the color scheme of this model. Lining the edge of the dial are pointed hour markers formed from white gold and filled with blue chroma light loom. The exceptions are 3, 6 and 9 as this is where the chronograph sub dials are. At these points there are small square markers. Also, there's no hour marker at 12 o'clock as this is where the famous Rolex Coronet site is. Really popping against the jet black dial is the word Daytona in red curving around the lower sub dial. The 3 o'clock sub dial is to measure elapsed minutes. The 9 o'clock sub dial is used to measure elapsed hours. And the 6 o'clock sub dial is the watch's running small seconds. The large hand you can see at the center of the watch is the chronograph hand. Often mistaken for a central second hand, the chronograph hand is controlled by the two pushers either side of the crown and is used to measure the average speed on the tachymetric scale. Once unscrewed, pressing the top pusher will start the timer. A second press of the pusher will stop the timer. If, for example, you were measuring the speed of a vehicle over a 1km track and the hand was pointing at 110 when finished, this would indicate the vehicle was travelling at 110km per hour. The bottom pusher, once unscrewed and pressed, will reset the timer. The 116500 LN is powered by Rolex's famous calibre 4130 movement, developed entirely in-house by Rolex. Up until the year 2000, Rolex used Zenis El Primero movement. The 4130 is made up of just 201 components, which is around 20% less than El Primero, providing the highest level of efficiency with the smallest number of parts. 
that's it for this video thank you for watching and if you're interested in buying or selling this watch or any others on the chrono finders channel please get in touch on the details that are in the description if you've enjoyed this video please give it a like comment share and subscribe